everybody, this is Dr. Joe Borio with this week's Thought Flash. Had a great weekend out in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, we brought in some new people to Chiropractic Consulting. I'm very, very excited about that. And the mission of Chiropractic Consulting, getting uh, other docs to learn and grow uh, with Principal Chiropractic is, uh, is certainly growing and, and I think the message is getting out. So, so it's an honor to have those new doctors part of our program, so thank you. Uh, for your trust in us, and I greatly appreciate that. We're on to our next event, which is going to be in Chicago. Uh, Chicago, March 2nd and 3rd. Hope to see you guys there. Um, I'm going to be on a, a webinar with Kyra Touch this, uh, this Tuesday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. 2 o'clock Eastern Time. We're going to talk about uh, how to keep people in the practice, how to keep members of your practice fired up about chiropractic and, and what it really comes down to which a lot of decks don't look at it that way is value you know you're very valuable to somebody new um, in your practice when they first initiate care because they want something from you they have an ache or a pain or what have you so they want something from you so so it's easy to get people to if you will to come in uh, and stay for that for that short period of time. In fact, you don't even need to work at it. They'll themselves bring themselves in. But but what happens is, as they do better with what they came in with, as what as they get better with what they came in for, how they judged your value, how they looked at your value to them. Okay, you got to understand that's really important. Let's take a neck ache. As their neck ache gets better, right? you become less valuable and they only understand your presence in their health care as a neck ache so therefore as their neck gets better they start to work their way out of the practice and then you're over there trying to say hey my god look how much better you're doing this shows you how important care is because look at what I'm able to do with the adjustment to your body and as a result it throws everything off they're gone if they're not better within a certain period of time they leave and what's so tragic with that is that we're still stuck in that allopathic paradigm where we're trying to treat them uh, to make them feel um, better with adjustments or manipulation so their neck doesn't get hurt. What, what we have to do and really it happens in two places in your practice I'm going to go in a lot of detail on the on the Kyra Touch webinar on Tuesday but where it really happens is on re-exams and day-to-day -day adjusting. Every day you adjust someone, uh, I don't like to call them visits. I like to call them adjustments. So every time when you come in and I adjust you, I have to es express value to you in that adjustment. It has to be an exchange of value. So I put my hands on you, I adjust you, and I want to talk about what I'm doing a little bit. I want to ask them a question to Bob, you see how that area is locked? That area goes to your pancreas. That area goes to the lung area. That area is going to affect. Now, when I adjust that area, we're taking pressure off the nerves. What's going to happen? That's right, Bob. The body's going to flow better. It's going to get healthier. And I can hear it getting healthier. And you are healthier. And I'm going to see you on Wednesday. Can't wait to see you on Wednesday. I mean, that's how that has to happen. And that has to happen frequently. And that has to happen every adjustment. The second thing that we need to do is we need to do frequent re-exams. Examinations certainly have a clinical evaluation of the chiropractor so you know every time I, I say this on on a webinar or on a, a coaching call I, you know I always get somebody that gets mad at me I don't mean to say that a, a, an, a, an evaluation doesn't offer you anything so please don't don't jump on that but the a major reason for doing the re-exam is to rekindle the value to the member the practice member you know so Bob do you remember you came in a month ago with an ache? I know your neck's doing better, but let's look at the criteria testing. Maybe take x-ray, maybe do thermography, um, maybe do palpation, posture, weight distribution, surface EMG, I don't know, substation. All of them are great, but whatever that is, you want to go back to that. You want to say, hey, Bob, do you remember this, this, and this? Well, that's still there. So I know you're feeling better, but boy, let's see how your body's healing. Let's see how it's functioning inside. We still, how long has that been there? We got a lot of work to do, don't we? Yeah, how long do you think it's going to take to correct? I mean, that's the dialogue. And what that does is that starts to pull them out and say, you know what, my neck is better, but I realize that I'm sick inside my body right now. I'm sick, like somebody would have a blocked artery in their heart. It's sick. It's blocked in there. So as a result, 
I still have a problem that needs to be cared for. I still have a problem that needs to be cared for. And, and the reason I got sick was why? Why did you get sick? Because you didn't care for it. So when we care for it to make your body better, what are we going to need to do? Certainly less frequently, but what are we going to need to do long term for a lifetime? Care for it. So, you know, you bring them back to lifetime care and you bring them back to the problem that got them sick in the first place. And that's what's really, really important to do frequently because listen, we're all human beings. Life gets in the way. You know, every day people make assessments with where you are on that totem pole. And if you're not so important on the totem pole, Bob, you know what? Tell Dr. Joe I really appreciate it, but I can't make my appointment. Or I'm going to have to discontinue care because my mom's sick or my job changed or whatever. Uh, I have to drive a different way to work. And all of a sudden, they work their way out. They'll find a reason not to be there anymore. And what's tragic is they don't get care anymore. Their nervous system gets sick and they die sooner without your hands on keeping them healthy. You got to remember that. And you got to see yourself as very valuable first. So that challenge starts with you. You got to see yourself as valuable in their life for a lifetime. You have to see yourself as what you want to be in their life. I see myself valuable for them now and forever in their lifetime. That's my value and I'm going to express that to them every single day. That's how you change lives. That's how you grow a practice and that's how you keep your practice stable. And that's what really changes the world. That's how we're going to change the world. Like, by expressing what principal chiropractic is. And it's fun, it's exciting, and you should love your practice. Guys, I'm gonna see you in March. We got a webinar on Tuesday in ChiroTouch. I'm gonna see you in March in Chicago. Chicago, I hope to see you there. I'm excited about it. Remember, may your innate always flow from above down, guys. Have a great week, sir, and I'll talk to you next week. My best friend gave me the best advice. He said each day's a gift. Right. Leave no stone